Hi everyone, Renee Montgomery here, voice teacher, singer with Soul Voice Studios. Um, I'm sitting here in the villages, in the villages in Florida. I am waiting, uh, decided to work from here today and uh, waiting to go to a wonderful concert tonight, a fabulous singer, Linda Etter. Uh, so I'm sitting here and I thought I will do my day two video for everyone from the villages. Here I am in a little little area, um, kind of tucked away between a chocolate shop. So there's that. I'm sitting next to chocolate and I'm not eating chocolate. Um, anyway, I hope everyone is having an awesome uh, day today and that you hopefully got uh, a little bit of encouragement out of our day one tip, which we focused on uh, being able to find your why and why you like to sing. So for a day two tip, what I'd like to focus on today is progress or process over perfection. Uh, so I'm just gonna raise my hand. I am a recovering perfectionist. Uh, every day I have to remind myself to uh, not be so hard on myself when I'm singing. I've been hard on myself, I think, my whole life. Um, and to be quite honest, the industry sometimes, music industry, and if you've trained formally at all, a formal voice lesson, sometimes that in and of itself, um, you know, they, they kind of, they push you hard as they should. And sometimes that can end up with someone pushing themselves also very hard in practice sessions or in rehearsals. Um, so for me, I've worked really hard on not having to strive for perfection. I'm striving to always get better all the time, and I encourage my students to do the same. So that's why I talk about process or progress over perfection. So it's really easy to get into, oh, I didn't hit that note just right, or oh, I sound awful here, or I've never done that before, why did I just make that mistake? Um, whether it's in a live performance, or maybe you're in an audition, or maybe you're even in a voice lesson, and um, your voice cracks or something happens. Totally normal, by the way. So for me, uh, I know I still work on this, and I've come a very long way, so I wanted to share this with everyone, again, based on my experience, that to build confidence, you have to just really embrace the process or the progress and not be so concerned with perfection. And again, I'm the first one in line taking my own advice here. Uh, so whether you're not live audition, again, in a voice lesson, maybe you're in the middle of a performance and you forget a word or sing the wrong lyrics or mistakes happen. And honestly, when that happens, especially like a live performance, the audience tends to be very forgiving. And there's this, it gives it a sense of like, a human element to the performance. Yes, you're a human singing, but you know, humans are not perfect. We're not really meant to be perfect, we're imperfect. So if you forget a word or sing the wrong lyrics or you know, the sound wasn't quite how you practiced it on a certain note or something or your voice cracks, who knows, whatever, uh, that's okay. The audience sometimes really likes that because again, it gives it a sense of uh, in the moment, authenticity, vulnerability and part of the human experience. So hopefully the day two tip is really helpful. And again, I would encourage everyone to focus on the process and progress, which is more important than trying to achieve perfection. Yes, always strive to get better. Always strive to you know, focus on doing maybe one thing, improving on one thing at a time. Uh, but again, it's a process over perfection every single time. And so I hope this tip of the day helps you when it comes to building confidence as a singer and stay tuned for day three.